Greetings everybody, welcome to Spider-Man Gamport's channel. This time we're going to work on Demon Sword. Yeah, so, cartridge itself on the uh, the shelf looks really, really good. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart, clean the PCB. I have a uh, color coordination, you know, red with red, yellow with yellow, and then underneath here is a kind of a, a tan kind of brown color, maybe for his hair, shoulder pads, um, loin cloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's, I believe that's what it's called, right? A loincloth. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on this. My day is going wonderful. I'm having a, a really, really good time. It's warm outside, but it's nice and cool on the inside of the house. So, yeah. Last night, I received... One of my orders from Amazon, my favorite company, which I'm super thankful for. Okay, that looks like it needs definitely be cleaned. It's a cool looking card. Uh, sorry for the digression there. I was going to go off on a tangent there. Um, yeah, last night I received uh, John Carpenter's Vampires on Blu-ray. And I was watching that, and I was like, oh, man, I missed vampire movies where they made the vampires just absolutely evil and terrible and despicable. I I missed vampire movies like that so much. So I, I, I you know, watch that movie, and I'll probably end up watching it again tonight and make sure that I, if I missed anything or forgot something, got the chipsets there, you know. So, yeah, so I had a really good night last night, I was, of course, playing some Overwatch. Let me zoom this in, so give me a second here, I'm going to drop the camera, so, you know, be prepared, look away, look away, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to turn another light on too, it's like, uh oh, you're blinded, oh, I see a spot already right there. Right there, a little bit of crud in between there. Maybe corrosion. Don't zoom it in so you guys can see it. Yeah, having a magnifying lens is nice, right? It's better than using that digital zoom. Ugh. It doesn't really work all that well. So here I was working with the uh, electric eraser too, and I was like, well, you know, I know I'm buffing this out quite a bit. And I was thinking, couldn't I just use the electric eraser to go ahead and use that as a buffing tool all the way along it? Let's give that a shot and see if that works. Remember, all this is all just trial and error. I'm not trying to ruin any of my cartridges. That's the, you know, that's one thing I do not want to do. And that's why I'm being absolutely 100% careful about. You know, I'm not putting any um, acetone down. Acetone would just absolutely destroy this. I know it would. I've seen what it does to the cartridge case, you know, the shell. It, it eats it, like literally eats the layer right off of it. Again, just being careful here. And yeah, I'm working on this side first, you know, the chip side. NEC chips too, that's really neat. I like this board, this board's really cool. Yeah, I, I've been making comments like, is this a capacitor but I think it's just component too you know like a way that they put it on the uh, printed circuit board and just wrote it on there and I know what uh, Q stands for now and that would be a transistor I was not aware of that I never seen it before labeled that way what's the matter baby girl a whole bunch of birds out there yeah I put down bird seed and a lot of critters come flying in and you know like chip chip or the chipmunks they come out wanting to get something to nibble on and uh, Miwu doesn't uh, she wants to partake like she wants to go out there and she wants to you know chase them down or visit with them or she, I know she talks to uh, the, the crows she'll literally chat out the window at them when I have the window open like that, that cat chatter. So. Yeah, 
this one looks like it might not even need to be messed with on the eraser, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. You know, I just want to make sure that I get in between the lands and the grooves. Got polish it. Plus, this is very therapeutic for me. This is what makes you know that that it makes it all worthwhile. It's just having the fun of using an eraser on it. And yes, I have my safety glasses on. Safety is paramount. Make sure that you do that. I think this is going to buff out really nice. We get that mirror polish finish. Oh, I saw that Philadelphia cream cheese commercial again with a schmear. <laughs> Every time I hear that guy say that, I think of this right here, the schmear on my cart. <laughs> I don't know why I keep remembering, but this is, well, it's a commercial and I keep seeing it a lot on, on YouTube. Oh man, it's... I get a chuckle every time. Okay, I'm good on that. I think it's time to go ahead and sweep up, and then I'll get back to you. Give me a second here. Yeah, ooh, that's all done. Yeah, it seems like it's a lot less effort when I'm using both. I'm not seeing any corrosion on anything. I'm not seeing any leakage. Is up. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try the electric erasers, uh, you know, holder for one of these cotton swabs. Let me see if I can snip it properly without it shooting across the room. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that on camera, though. It shot across the room. I might just have to regularly scrub it, which would be fine. I'm, com you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting acclimated to it. Like a, it's becoming a, a standard part of the process to like really, really scrub. I do believe today was supposed to be my um, delivery day for those bamboo cotton swabs, which I'll be very happy to receive them here in a little bit.
just curious if it's chewing it up to the cardboard point. Yeah, I think it's just wearing it down to the... No, it's... it's there. be working. Not too bad. Seems like it saved me a lot of effort involved. It's not bad. So let me get this light real quick. And then now we get the reveal. A little hazy in there. But nothing like we have been experiencing. Alright, so there's definitely something to all this step-by-step -step process. Yep. Mirror polish finish. Looks good. And then we can see the other side where it doesn't, it has it, but it doesn't have it. You know, like you can see those wear lines. Let's see if we can get those all cleaned off and all that. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to clean up again. Hey everybody, I'm back. Yeah, I still have yet to work on my uh, Nintendo, or the official Nintendo Player's Guide. I'm not just trying to say something about it and just teasing everybody or anything like that. I'm, I'm just kind of procrastinating on it. I don't think it's going to be that hard to fix it. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down. Um, before I put the spine against it, because it's separated from the spine, and I'll just layer and layer some glue down until I I, I think that it's going to be willing to hold for a long time, and then that's when I will glue the spine back down onto it too. go for an amateur way of doing something. Like I always look it up and see the right, correct process of that. Which I think I might. And, and, I, and I'm sure it's the same thing that, that, that I would be doing is to just glue it down, hold it down with another book. You know, like hold down the, uh, the you know, the glue part because I'm not going to be stitching it back together again. It's not that kind of bound book. It doesn't need to be stitched. It doesn't need to be um, it doesn't have that, that other little layer in between it. You know, not the fly leaves but the other piece. There's a, there's a piece along the spine that is actually uh, a strengthening piece there. I, I can't remember what it's called but you know, if those that are book aficionados, they would know this. Especially if you need to, re, um, to to fix something that's vintage, you know, those vintage books. And yeah, I'm talking a little bit here because I, I want to make sure that all of this has been thoroughly dried before I, you know, hit it up with the any eraser. So which one should we go for first? This one and then the other one? Yeah, because it seems like a really good process to have the electric eraser 
work it all out or work it loose and then have the other one collect it up within its eraser. You know, it's yeah. Medium or yeah, within its medium or media. majority of these games all work prop, you know properly within the console I just want to clean them so that when I put them in the console um, that I'm not reintroducing this garbage back onto my you know, freshly clean control deck I, I don't want to add this stuff to it it's, that's a year's worth of breath on there man I don't like let's say instead of just years how about a couple decades <laughs> Ugh, I feel old. No. <laughs> Actually, I feel very young. And thinking about these these games, they um they bring me back to an easier time in life. You know, bring me back to my teenage years because I wasn't a teenager um, playing these. I was actually a kid. Like, I was born in '79, so I'm 40 right now. It's like this came out when I was five years old, four, you know, four going on five, or something like that. So, yeah, I just I I played the Atari for a little bit there. As a kid, you know, when I was four, I played down in the basement with my father. Okay, it's time to sweep all this up. Yep, all right, give me a second. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, sorry for the camera boom. Oh, no, another camera boom. All right, we're going to change that one. Okay, I am back. Yeah, I, I did a bunch of camera bumps there, so I had to close out the session. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do the reveal. Get all this media off of here. I changed the colors. I, I like changing the color schemes. You know, I just... I just I find it entertaining. I also am able to um, when I when I change the color schemes to uh, to place mark where I'm at in the video in a way you know, like something like that. It helps out. Yeah, I reckon to see that this is going to turn out really, really nice and clean. Okay, I am, I'm going to talk about the actual game now, uh, Demon Sword. I absolutely love this game, but as a kid, I never got a chance to play it because, well, it had the, the, the name Demon in front of it, and whenever that was on a video game, um, you know, the, the parents would be like, no, you're out renting that game. It's, it's got demons in it. That kind of thing. You know, like, oh, great. Okay, so other games that were even possibly more violent were fine, with the exception of, you know, that kind of stuff. They didn't want it in the house, and that's understandable. I get that. That's cool. Looking out for your kids' best interests. But I do remember once sneaking it, renting it, right? And I always loved the way that the sword looked on the cover art. You know, the, the demon sword with the, the, the um, blade breakers. I think that's a sword breaker kind of uh, design on a blade for a, a sword. And once you got that, I mean, you don't even look like this guy. You don't look like him at all. 
you, yeah, you know, if you've ever played Demon Sword, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're wearing like a, um, uh, a, I can't even remember what it would be, what it would be even called, a gi, or something like that. So you're not wearing what this guy's wearing here. So having this character art, it makes very little sense to the actual game. I'll just let that dry a little bit. Okay. Time to buff. I just wish the game had a little bit of parallax scrolling. You know, like the background art would be a layer effect. Just a little bit. If they made another game like this or recreated it, that's what I would request to be in it or on it. Because this game is fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And when you get your sword all the way, you know, mastered, it's awesome. Uh, the only thing I would omit or, or delete from it would be the sound effect that it makes when you're using the, the sword. Because it's always like a ching a ching a ching a ching a ching, -ching. You're, you're, you're constantly using it, so it's going to make a lot of noise, and it's just repetitive, repetitive. And it's just a sound bite noise, you know, like that kind of thing. It's right in here that I'm getting a lot of the extra grime. You know, that bit of gnarliness. And of course, the, the little areas right along here, along those, if you could see what I'm talking about, there's a little segment of the pad that's just a little bit of a notch missing out of it right there and that is going to collect a lot of dirt yeah it collects a lot of dirt so and that's where I usually stay away from when I hit the when I use the eraser because the eraser might pick up on that and it pull it completely or free from the uh, from the board if it was worn out or you know if it was you know damaged prior so I'm being very cautious and very careful can't like going off let's see if we can get get that mirror polish on there yeah look at that finish that looks good I like that a lot all right I think she's ready to go right into the console here and, and give it a shot and see what it looks like Checking with a camera this time instead of just by eye. Okay, we're good. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, I am back this time. I'm gonna play a game of Demon Sword with Game Enhancer. So yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed with the uh, the steps that we took to get these contact pads polished. You get that mirror polished finish on them. So I'm really happy about that. It turned out exactly as expected. Okay, here's Demon Sword. Go ahead and hit your pause button. Yeah. And here's the other code set for it. Boop. All right. So we're gonna have infinite powers and lives. That's what the first code's gonna be. Yep, infinite powers and lives. And then the next one's gonna be infinite life energy. Which I'm a personal fan of. I'm sure I'm still gonna get hit or hurt. But if you guys wanna take a look at my uh, assembly in emulation G codes, that is uh, 
uh, you know, I would say a more superior way of using codes to get you to the game, just so that you can see the artwork. Alright, that's infinite life energy, and then infinite fire lightning power beams on pickup. I think we can do that one. Now if you look at the box art versus this right here, even his... I would say gauntlet or his pulverum arm pad isn't even the same. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, I, this is where I wish it had parallax scrolling in the background, a little bit of it. Because, man, this. I like that you can climb on trees. I don't mean to give anybody motion sickness, it's just the, the game is really, really like that, where you, you fly through the entire level. Alright, good at last. It worked. That was the whole point of testing it out. I like the maneuverability for your character in this one. Alright, so no the uh it's not too it's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a little more complicated when you got hit or something that you would uh, kind of get knocked back. Is that normally part of the game, or is that um, part of the game genie? I think the only downfall of this one is the up button for jump, but you kind of need it for
In this one, I, as the cheat codes come up, I actually beat the game. You know, for the code video. But as a kid, I was only able to get so far in the game before it just started, you know, like, it was just like, there's no way I'm going to actually get through it. But look at that tree. I know it's 8-bit, it's but still, it's like, they did a really nice job on the artwork in this particular... game, you know. Taito. I'm saying their their um, their company name properly. Is it Taito or is it Taito? I think it's Taito. Yeah, but they did a really good job on this one. But of course, I was saying like you know, if it had a, a little bit of background scrolling, it, it would just set this game up a, a little bit better. Now, if they uh, use that that simulator one or the uh, was it 3D S E N Sun 3D Sun. Which is NES backwards. Uh, this one would be very cool if they had that one scaled properly for a three-dimensional version of this game. I think it'd be really cool. Does anybody else agree with me on the box art that, that what you're wearing right now is more of a gi or something entirely different than what you would see on the cover art as a barbarian versus a samurai? Yeah, maybe there might be lore behind it where the original character or the original hero with the demon sword was the barbarian, and now you were, you know, next in line for it. Maybe ascendant. Oh yeah, I don't even need to get that. Straight into the death. <laughs> cool. for 8-bit art that's nicely done.
I, I think they'll do it. I mean, I, like I said, I, I beat the game in the other version of the, uh... Through emulation. You know, the other version of the game that I played. And... Yeah, I think this is as far as I got when I, when I was a kid, too. It's like, this is as far as I was able to get to. Get to. You get all these upgrades and stuff throughout the game. Alright, well, be safe, stay healthy, uh, happy gaming, and take care, everyone.